a riverfront pulsating with joy and happiness, bustling with people from all walks of life, enjoying the morning breeze, a riverfront throbbing with activities like water sports and boating, reverberating with the melodious laughter of children. This riverfront is in the process of giving the city of Ahmedabad a complete makeover with boulevards, promenades and gardens beautifying the place, while the connecting roads and walkways enhance accessibility, a recreation zone and convention center amidst the meticulously planned residential and commercial spaces, and the informal markets adding to the charm. This transformation is sure to become a benchmark for the country. However, moving back a decade, the picture was starkly different. Sabarmati Riverfront 2001 An inaccessible river occupied by slums. A river polluted by effluence from industries. And a river prey to severe environmental abuse. In order to stop this abuse and exploitation and bring the river back to life, the government of Gujarat and the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation conceptualized the first ever riverfront project of the country, the Sabarmati Riverfront Project. An ambitious plan was chalked out to make the project an iconic symbol of riverfront development. The Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation and the government were clear from the onset that the Sabarmati Riverfront project would not be limited only to rejuvenating the riverfront but also uplifting the lives of those affected by the project. However, there were several hurdles and social issues that needed to be addressed before the project could take off. The biggest and most sensitive issue was the evacuation of 30,000 people residing in the 86 slums that existed on both banks of the river. If this were to happen, it would be the largest urban rehabilitation and resettlement project in the country. The AMC seized the opportunity to bring about positive transformation for the people and formulated a comprehensive policy as a part of the project scope for restoration of the project affected families residing in the slums. The Sabarmati Resettlement and Rehabilitation Project Renewing Lives, Upgrading People With the inhabitants of the riverfront depending heavily on the river banks, activities such as laundering, informal markets, sand collection, seasonal cultivation, dine, etc were severely dissipating the river. The authorities knew it was not to be an easy task to revamp the river without generating a positive solution to their setback. The AMC began by conducting socio-economic surveys with the help of community-based organizations and NGOs and created awareness through public meetings, family profiling and demarcation of the project line within the slum. यहाँ नदी किनारा में रहता था यहाँ घनी बदी परिस्थितियों का सामना करना पड़ता था जीवी के लाइट पानी गटर ऐनी सुविधाओं में थी हमें वंचित था वहाँ पीने के पानी के लिए लाइन में खड़े रहना पड़ता था दो दो कल्ला तीन तीन कल्ला खेरा नोना पड़ता था वहाँ डर रहता था कभी भी आके मुंशीपाल्टी वाले तोड़ देंगे या मकान कभी पानी आता था तो आधी रात को दौड़ते थे बच्चों को लेकर और बच्चों की पढ़ाई बढ़ाई ये थे सब बहुत बिगड़ती थी हमारी लोगों को बीमारी थी हैरान था था कारण के नदी में गंदगी आती कुदरती आजत नहीं तकलीफ आती इल्ले तरह तरह नहीं बीमारी थी लोगों को हैरान था था बेस्ड ऑन People participation was the core of the policy. Leaders from every community were included in the committee to create awareness and reach a consensus amongst all members. The positive approach of the corporation also helped it overcome judicial setback through amicable agreements with the Honorable High Court. 
The policy not only envisaged compensation of loss of shelter through alternative residential units, but also uplifting the standards of living while creating income generating opportunities for the project affected families. Land areas were identified based on social fabric existing in the slums. This was followed by erection of well planned residential colonies with all basic amenities like roads, parking spaces, sewers, water supply, solid waste collection and disposal, and paved compounds. Civic infrastructure facilities like education centers and urban health centers were also taken care of. The AMC also supported the project affected families by providing transportation facilities and cash doles of rupees 500 to reduce shifting nuances and compensate for the wage loss for daily wage workers. In addition to these, the corporation also roped in NGOs like Seva and Saad to support the development of communities by creating income generation opportunities focusing on healthcare and primary education for a period of two years. And this was not all. The government even supported the project affected families financially. For each house measuring 36.5 square meters built up area, costing approximately 4.52 lakh, a figure too high for the people in question, the government went forward and covered 85% of the total cost. Thus, supporting each project affected family with a substantial sum of Rs 3.85 lakh. Eventually, a family covered under the project could claim entitlement to the residential structure with a nominal down payment of Rs 2300 and an even smaller EMI of just Rs 700 per month. As of date, of the approximately 10,000 eligible PAFs, 8,500 families have already moved into their new homes, while the remaining 1,500 will soon be moving in as well. It's remarkable how a project that should have disrupted their lives found a way to uplift it instead. लाख <laughs> और हमें यह मकान के सिर्फ 66,900 रुपए चुकाने हैं वो भी 10 साल के हफ्तों में यहाँ आने के बाद हमको गर्व महसूस होता है कि हमारा अपना मकान है हम अपने मकान में भी खुशी से रह रहे हैं और बहुत सी तकलीफें हमारी दूर हो गईं जो मकान हमको दिए गए इसके अंदर हमको सामान सिप करने के लिए गाड़ी के अथवा हमको खर्चा दिया गया था कि भाई तुम्हारा सामान शिप करो तुम्हारी जगह पे और नए मकान पे सामान शिप करवा दो हमने कभी सोचा नहीं था सपने में भी कि हमको इतने अच्छे मकान मिलेंगे और इतने सहूलियत से मिलेंगे आज हमने जो अहमदाबाद म्युनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन तेज रिवर फ्रंट द्वारा जो मकान फाड़वनी कर सारी सुविधाओं मिले जेमा के लाइट पा गटर आंगणवाड़ी ये तमाम सुविधाओं से अगर सारू जीवन जी गए द साबरमती रिवर फ्रंट रिसेटलमेंट एंड रिहेबिलिटेशन प्रोजेक्ट has set a number of benchmarks. The innovative approach and successful implementation of the project has been nationally recognized and has been awarded the Best Innovative Infrastructure Development Initiatives Award 2010-11 by Hoodco. While aiming at an ecological preservation, the government of Gujarat and the AMC have together achieved social betterment. A project that introduced a deeper connection between man and river, rejuvenated, reshaped and uplifted lives, provided material assets for future generations, added security to their present. Amidst fashioning a new identity for all, no wonder it is the biggest resettlement and rehabilitation project in urban India. A model for future projects and enhancing more lives.
द साबरमती रिवर फ्रंट रिसेटलमेंट एंड रिहेबिलिटेशन प्रोजेक्ट एम्पावरिंग पीपल ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग लाइफ